Have you messed up on an Amazon Flex order? Well, let me tell you, it's going to cost you in your ratings and tips. I really blew this order. I delivered to the neighbor's house by accident. And as a result, I only got a $1 tip. Let me tell you about it so that you can learn from my mistake and not repeat it yourself. My name is Russ and I do this part time. So, hey, maybe I'm not an expert, right? But I like doing Amazon Flex, Grubhub, Instacart, Uber Eats, all those different gig economy apps. They're a lot of fun and a great way to make some money. So you can learn from my part-time experience for the last almost five years doing this. Now let's get into it. So the pickup went really smoothly. I got an Amazon Flex order from Whole Foods and it was just one customer. It was 12 bags, but that's no big deal. I scanned them out and I think I did take a couple trips to the car to just load them in the trunk. And then I made my way to the customer. It was a gated community, so they checked my ID to get in. And then as I came down the street, I noticed it was congested, meaning there were trees around blocking the addresses. I looked across the street, it was an even number. So of course, right across the street, odd number, good. I was in the wrong place. Didn't realize that at first. I dropped off a few bags up front, saw a painter there painting the house, and he asked the name. He said, oh, they moved. The new owner is so-and-so. Good morning. I'm Russ. That's for for Amazon uh, Fresh from Whole Foods. Is the owner here? It's food? Yeah, is this? What's the, the last name? Yeah, they moved. Okay, I messed up, so I called support. I also called the customer and asked for their address so that I could get them their groceries, hoping that they had moved somewhere close by, because who would do that by mistake? Loaded everything back in the car, got ready to go, and then customer support said they contacted the customer and they're ready for delivery, that the address is correct. Thank you for calling Amazon. My name's Lucia. How can I help you? Yes, my name is Russ. I'm on a delivery, and the address that I'm dropping off to, there's painters there, and they said that they moved and that there's a new owner now. So I tried to contact the customer and he hasn't called me back yet. Okay, let me just try calling one last time. One moment. Okay, thank you. All right, so I was able to get in contact with the customer. He said he lives there. He can leave the packages. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. I'll do that now. No problem. All right, bye. No problem. Have a good day. I went back up, and you know what? Clearly, when I looked to the left, I could see the house number, and it was the wrong one. I also confirmed that in my phone with the timestamp camera app because it gives you the GPS and the street address. Did it again, right? I did this on Instacart at night, delivering to the wrong house. If I would have just used my eyes <laughs> and my phone on that app, it would have told me where I was. Anyway, I also noticed that the place to drop off the bags was inside the garage. So uh, the garage door was already open, but you know what? I pushed open door anyway, and I heard right next door, I heard the garage door open. Oops. So please don't make this mistake. I transferred the bags over, took a picture, closed it out, and then a couple days later I went in to see just how I did. And you can already guess what's going to happen, right? I got a dollar tip. Who knows how much they would have tipped me. It would have been a great order. But because I wasn't paying attention, I wasted time keeping me from doing other food delivery orders, Instacart, what have you and giving that bad impression to the customer and Amazon Flex. So let this be a lesson to you. Take your time, slow down if you have to. Don't let this be the same kind of problem for you. My name is Russ and I do appreciate bringing this to your attention at my expense, of course. And in line with that, let's watch this next video here where the Amazon Flex app had a glitch and the viewers in the comments were able to also confirm that, yeah, you can just click the next destination and get there. But at the time in this video, I didn't know that. So let's enjoy that video again at my expense. And I'll see you in my next one.